In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sort and randomize a range of data in Google Sheets with Google Apps Groups. So you probably already know how to sort and randomize your data in Google Sheets. Let's select a range, for example, and we'll go to data and we'll sort the range with the advanced range sorting. Let's put a header in there and let's say we want to sort by date, for example, and hit sort. Alternatively, we could select the range from A2 all the way down to D24 and go to data and randomize our range. We can also grab our data from A2 to A24 and go to sort ranges again, advanced sort, and let's say we want to sort by our column D first and then add another range and let's sort from Z to A for our date in column B and hit sort. All right, so how do we do this with Google Apps Scripts? Maybe you want to do this as part of a workflow in our Google Apps Script processing. Let's get into it. So the first thing we need to do is to grab the spreadsheet we're working in so we can use the constant variable. So that's a variable that doesn't change and we'll name this SS for spreadsheet and we'll grab the spreadsheet app class and let's just grab the get active spreadsheet which is the spreadsheet we're currently actively working on here now you could use the open by id or open by url methods as well if you want a specific spreadsheet you're working on and now let's go const again and create the sheet variable and this is going to grab the spreadsheet and get the sheet we want to work on by name and for us it's going to be sheet one that's this one down the bottom here. Cool. Okay, the last thing we need to grab is the range we're working on. Const range. And we'll grab sheet.get range. There's a number of ways of getting range or inputting parameters into this get range method, but we'll use probably the most intuitive one, and that's just going to grab this range from A2 to D24 using A1 notation. So A2 colon. D24. Done. Okay, so the first thing we might want to do is to sort our data by ID. And to do this, we can use the range and the sort method here. And the sort method can take a number of parameter types, but if we just want one column to be sorted in ascending order, we just need to type column one and it will sort it in ascending order. So let's hit run now. And the first time round, we'll need to authorize the script. Cool. Now, if you're watching carefully on the left-hand side, you might've seen that the range was sorted by IDs from smallest to highest. Now, if you missed it, that's cool. Let's create a randomizer function to randomize the range and then run that my function again. So let's create a function that we'll call randomizer. And let's just copy all these variables in, control C, couple of spaces, control V to paste, cool bananas. And on this range, we can use the random eyes method. And he'll hit save. And let's go up to our function list and just select randomizer and hit run. Now carefully this time, watch the left hand side to see what happens. Okay, you can see all the values have now randomized. Sweet. Let's go back to my function now and just watch that sort, sort the first column. Cool. So at that time, awesome. Okay, so let's, let's see what else we can do. We can do the same with column two, which is uh, column B, just by putting in a two here and that'll sort that in ascending order. We'll hit run and now it's sorted by date. Another thing we can do is we can sort things in ascending order by more than one column. So for example, if I want to sort the location and then the ID, we can create an array here. And inside that array, we want to sort the location column first, and then we want to sort the ID. Now the order of this is important. I'll show you why in a minute. But let's first hit save and hit run and keep an eye on the location and the ID this time. Now you can see we've got our location starting with Delta, Pavonis, and then Gamma, Velorum, and then Kalon, 
and then of role. Then over on the left hand side here and under IDs, you can see each section starts at the smallest number and goes to the largest. Now if I was to change this sort around to one and then four, it's not gonna make a lot of sense because ID is going to sort first, then the location. And we know that the ID is a unique ID. Location is not going to do anything. Have a look. Okay, so everything's been sorted and our location is just a mess. So we know now that order is important. What if about if you wanna sort some data by descending order? Then things are a little bit more different. So if we want to insert just a single row in descending order, we need to use an object here. And the first property in the object is going to be the column number. So a column, and that column number for us, let's make that three. We want in descending order, the time. And then we need to set ascending to false, which is a Boolean. All right, let's have a look at this time here and let's see what happens to the time when we run our script. Cool. And now that it's in descending order, the values start at the highest time or the latest time and end at the earliest time. Cool, we can do this again for multiple values. So let's change our column now to column four, set the ascending to true now. And we also want to add another value. And just like we had added multiple values before, we need to put that in an array. So we need some square braces. And let's just add a comma in here and some more curly braces and add a column. And let's set that to two and a comma. Ascending, we want to make that false. So what's going on here? Column four will be our lead column, which is locations, and that will be set to ascending. So from the Delta Pavonis all the way down to Obrol. And then the next sort column will be column two, which is the date. And that will be from descending order or, or the false of ascending, the opposite of ascending. So that will be from the latest date down to the earliest. Let's hit run. Cool. So now you can see we've got Delta Pavonis and then the latest down, down to the earliest for each one of these items here. And just for fun, let's just randomize the data to head back to the beginning. Now, if you're still struggling with a bit of code, you can always make a macro out of this. Let's head over to the sheet and expand it right out. Okay, so what we could do here is select the range from A1 down to D24. And let's just go over to extensions and grab the macro here. Let's record a macro now. So this is now recording. And we can go up to our data here and sort range, advanced range sort. And let's do a little bit of crazy. We'll do what we did before with location. And then our date, we'll reverse the date order here and hit sort. And then we've got an action completed. And let's hit save now. And we'll, put, we'll call this sort lock ASC and date DESC. And we can use a shortcut here. We can use control alt shift and one, and that will run that for us. Let's hit save. And if we ever wanted to add that to our script later, we can always go to extensions and then our app scripts. And you can see we've got a macro now. And that has recorded this macro as a script that we can add and play around with in future. Okay, so that's all there is to sort and randomize data in Google Sheets with Google Apps Scripts. If you enjoyed this short tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more like this, subscribe and smash that notification bell. Till next time.